actually this. Anyway, okay, appreciate all the questions. This is very recently, in the last two months, we've made significant upgrades in the operation that we couldn't afford to previously. Um, right now, we're requiring vendors to get membership IDs. That means that they have to get their picture taken. Sorry? So the cost thereof. So these are free for vendors. Um, they have to get their picture taken. And then when they get their picture taken and sign up as vendors, we have to have some proof that they live in the downtown east side. Because one of the criticisms we were receiving was that the market was getting actually quite popular and people were vending there that really should be vending at the terminal flea market or other existing flea markets that have a high barrier to entry like $25, $50, and so forth. That was one of the criticisms. So we're clamping down on that. You have to be from the downtown east side, okay? So that's why we want to maintain the social benefit for those people in the downtown east side. Uh, another criticism was you couldn't always tell who the volunteers were. We would buy safety vests, but other people could walk through the market with a safety vest. So now we have matching safety vests with our logo on the back. We also have proper basic security trained security guards. Okay, So they're walking around the market. They can assist the volunteers. They're employed. They also represent a rung on the employment ladder um, from volunteer to, to real employment. And they're, they're also local people. We've employed only people from the downtown east side, so they understand the issues of the downtown east side and the vendors and so forth. And the realities of the downtown east side is very important. We have kind of control of the market activities. We've created a perimeter around the market early on. We only let uh, vendors with membership tags in before the market hours start. So before the market starts at 10 o'clock now, only vendors can get in, so we have a proper perimeter. We enforce the membership of everybody selling. And we also have a great arts project that will define the eastern edge of the market um, along Carroll Street. Will help us maintain a good separation between the market and the bike path and the sidewalk because look, we realize if somebody's just walking along Carroll Street from Hastings to Cordova, they may not want to interact with the market. Now they can walk peacefully along the eastern side and we have a good uh, barrier there. And I have plenty of pictures of that if you want to see. So this is an example of one of the membership IDs. We've already admitted over 300 memberships. And we get actually strong support from the vendors. And we're, we're actually surprised by that. Initially, we weren't sure whether the vendors would support this idea, whether they would um, go along with it. But they know that this protects their vending space and protects them as downtown Eastside residents for the social benefit and prevents people from outside coming in. So we get a lot of support. So next one, thank you. Um, there's an example of our volunteer uniforms now, so that the volunteers are easily identifiable at the market between our volunteers and anybody else walking along with a safety vest. So that allows the general operation to be easier. If somebody has a complaint, they know whether they're one of our workers or not, etc. Next slide. Um, these are our two security guards right now. We're hoping to expand up to four or five before the end of the year. Um, this is an example recently of our control in the morning, right? So we set up the canopy tents along the east side of Carroll Street. We have tarps hanging that clearly define the edge of the market. We have tables set up, and only registered vendors can come in and occupy the tables and then vend when the market's open. Okay? And this is actually radically different than it was even a few months ago. And if you go back uh, more than a couple of years, essentially the vendors would be there and we would organize a market around them. And that doesn't happen anymore. It's more conventional. We set up the market. We allow only those registered vendors in. Um, and eventually, those tarps that define the eastern edge of the market will be grand murals, pieces of art being painted right now by members of the downtown Eastside community. It's a great sub project of this market upgrade, but we think it adds to the market immeasurably. It will allow that walk along Carroll Street from Hastings to Cordova to be more pleasant uh, and, and will beautify the edge of the market. Um, so just so that everybody can see, this is the sort of the map of the, air, the market area right now. This is our present area, Carroll Street and Vision Park. Now half of that's taken away because of the rock falling from the Merchant Bank. Um, this is now our workshop at 62 East Hastings, and this is the proposed new location. What we're hoping is that a lot of the traffic we see now that goes from Gastown to Chinatown can be easily diverted to this market, and it'll stay successful. 
for lots of reasons, it's beneficial to move here compared to here. I showed you pictures of the boundary that we have to define in the morning in order to control the vending space. Well, this already has a fence around it. Um, so it's much easier to control in and out. Uh, it's much easier to only allow vendors in during certain hours, let them set up. Much easier to police the area. And much easier to have. And I think a lot of the, a lot of the trepidation right now is, is the market going to be controlled? Is it going to be a, a market that we would all understand to be a market, a conventional market? Are we going to understand what's being sold there? Are the market volunteers going to going to be able to control what's going on, kick vendors out, etc.? All of that is much easier here. So this is a, a map of the lot and how we plan to execute a market within that lot. Our 10 by 10 canopy tents are shown in the map. We plan to have at least one equipment container there, a front gate at Hastings Street here. I think. And then there were questions about what happens when there's too many people at the market. Well, number one, we have a certain zone that we will control outside our fence. Um, but our goal is to create a low barrier enough environment that maybe they can't bend that day, but maybe they'll come back and bend the next day. And there's a, there is an issue of a few select protesters, and uh, thank you for coming, by the way. Um, in the end, with a certain personalities like that, like for instance, that bend around the Cordova Street right now from, from Vision, um, we do what we can. We recognize they're not in our market. We recognize that people will associate them with our market, so in a sense, we're responsible, and we try and do what we can. We'll interact with the police in as positive a way as we can to try and prevent that person from disrupting commerce around the corner. But in the end, as I showed in the slide earlier, we didn't create the bottle block vendors. What we're trying to do is get them off the bottle block, get, off, get them off the unit block, get them off the second unit block, and create a humane solution for them if really they're not engaged in the other elite, in the other illegal activities like drug sales and so forth. If we find a safe place for them to vent, then we've separated that illegal activity from the bottle block, and then that becomes a purely policing matter. And then this is the final slide. We've, we've had a lot of partners and helpers along the way. And I think it's a bigger operation than a lot of people realize. And we hope we've communicated that we've done a lot of hard work. And we're, we're willing to do more hard work and keep trying to do better with the resources we have and with the volunteers we have. And so from that standpoint, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't want to, I mean, I hope, well, I hope you still have questions, and I hope that you still have questions that will allow us to improve our operation.